Hey guys, what is up? So today I kind of want to talk about something that happened where apparently with the latest weapon update, a lot of people are claiming that Triarch kind of snuck skill-based matchmaking in there and kind of didn't tell anybody. So it was kind of a stealth patch within an official patch. So I kind of wanted to talk about what exactly skill-based matchmaking is and why people really don't like it. So first of all, let me explain how Call of Duty Connection works. Most of the time, like in previous CODs, except for Advanced Warfare, um, you would just be connected to people just solely based on how good your connection was to them. So you could get the best gameplay experience possible without people lagging around the map and teleporting and a bunch of BS like that. But what skill-based matchmaking does is it connects you not only to people based on just your how good your connection is, but also based on your skill, which could be score per minute, KD. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they base it off of, but basically the whole reason why they do it is so like new players that have like never that i guess have never played an fps or have never played call of duty multiplayer so they don't get into a game and get pooped on basically because you know then i guess their i guess what their thought process is you know people getting pooped on and multiplayer matches getting pub stomped on you got one guy that's going like 60 and 0 and everybody else is just getting doo dooed on those people are going to get mad and quit and not play the game anymore and not buy any future COD titles and you know Treyarch and Activision they're a business they want to try and make as much money as possible because that's what a business is supposed to do so you know their thinking is you know we kind of match people up based on skills so you know newer players or players that aren't as good as the game don't get doo-doo on and you know rage quit the series and don't buy any more Call of Duty or anything. So I can kind of see where they're coming from from a business perspective right there but as me as a player skill-based matchmaking I don't agree with because what happens is you know that's good for the lower tier guys that either aren't very good at the game or are new but then like me I'm a better I'm I'm not like the best Call of Duty player in the world but I consider myself pretty decent um I get into those people with my skill level who are also kind of I'm not gonna say tryhards but you know in yeah, basically, people in Call of Duty just like to pub stomp, makes them feel good. Um, you can't really do that with skill-based matchmaking. Um, I like, I also enjoy pub stomping. I love it whenever I get like, go like 55 and two or something like that, and get like all high streaks. But you know, in my opinion, when if you're like a new player to the series and you jump into the multiplayer, getting pooped on is just part of the Call of Duty experience. Because the more you get pooped on, the better you're going to be eventually. Eventually you will get pretty decent to where you'll be at like a average skill level with like a one point something KD and you'll be doing a lot better. That's how it was for me in Black Ops 2 whenever I first got into Call of Duty multiplayer. I'd say for about three or four months I just got doogied on all the time. I couldn't do anything but I still slowly saw my KD and score per minute going up and I was starting to do a lot better and now I'm where I'm at now and I'm pretty decent. So yeah, you know, to me, it's just part of the experience. It honestly it helps people get better at the game, but that's just my opinion. Obviously, Activision and Treyarch are trying to do something else, even though Treyarch said they would not put skill-based matchmaking in the game and said connection would be king. But um, yeah, guys, that's all I want to talk about today. And if you enjoyed the video, then please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.